Last night, officers responded to the bridge to what was described initially as injured persons involving more than one victim. The responding officers did locate two individuals sitting in a slumped over manner in the pedestrian lane near the diamond between the diamonds. Both of these individuals, the officers did observe, have what appear to be handguns sitting beside each of them. First responders did respond and the victims, uh, decedents, were transported to MUSC for treatment where they both died. We are at this time going to release the names of the two individuals. The male, his name is William Charles Best, Jr. He went by the name C.J. Best. He was 30 years old. He resided in the Ladson, Somerville area, and he uh, the female victim or decedent, whose name was Lindsay Bedonk, B-E-D-E-N-K, and she is 34 years old and resided in the, I'm not 34, I apologize, 24 years old, uh, was from Colorado and had been residing in the area, I'm not certain for exactly how long. Through our investigation, we were able to locate what we believe to be suicide notes, and a video telling friends and loved ones goodbye from each of the two victims. We believe through our investigation that the two met while both were receiving counseling for mental health issues. They developed a friendship and then for a reason we may never know, entered into what we believe was a suicide pact that they carried out last night on the bridge. You know, any loss of life is a tragedy, but when it happens during a major event, a major internationally known event like the bridge run, um, concerns are raised. People become uncomfortable, um, especially when it happens on the, uh, the course itself. What I want to do is ensure everyone who's involved in tomorrow's bridge run that, again, this was isolated incident, best we could tell. Both persons did enter to, to the suicide pack, and then they committed what appears to be the act on the bridge. There are no other people involved. We're not looking for anyone else. We don't suspect anyone else. We also don't have any known threat or perceived threat right now to the bridge run events itself. As you all know, we work with local, state, federal agencies together almost from one bridge run to the next, preparing and making sure that security is at its highest level here. That will still be the case. And those coming to the event tomorrow, they will be safe and they should come here like they normally would for any other event when they were running the bridge run, um, even though this tragedy happened on the bridge. I would ask those participating, they can help us. If you see something that's suspicious, reach out to the numerous officers that are going to be in the area. If they see it or they feel like it's suspicious, let us check it out, and we'll be glad to do that. So um, if you have any questions, I think Ray and I will be glad to answer them for you the best we can.